you're here with me. Oh, okay. And you are here with me. Don't far apart. You're always in my heart. You and I alone. Michael Jackson. Is that who that is? You guys have been asking me about Bo. Let me tell y'all, man. Bo is Bo is doing. Uh, I mean, I, I never thought Bo could even do what he's doing. I never thought it was possible. Uh, Bo is uh, clean and sober, uh, living in Florida, uh, working a job, have his apartment and everything, man. Uh, got $6,000 in the bank, Bo does. Y'all believe that shit that he saved in a year? Uh, let's, let's try to call Bo. Let's see if we can get Bo on the phone. He texted me early this morning, watching the news. Sorry, right? Bo. Hey. Hey, buddy, you on you, you on camera? Right now, I am. Yeah, tell everybody I said. Hey, tell everybody you said. That, well, they can hear you. They can't see you. So, oh, okay. Uh, you on camera, man? So you uh uh, how you doing, buddy? Oh, I'm doing. I'm doing all right, man. Pink, I'm, pink, uh, uh, I'm off the drugs and alcohol, dude. I've been off the drugs and alcohol for over ten months. I'm at my job, man. I've been here six months, uh, saving money, dude. We just had a storm come through and a lot of debris down. I'll be going out and do a couple of days uh, extra work, man. Uh, after I work this uh, shift to Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, I'm sure I'll be out helping clean up on some of these partners' jobs. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And, uh, well, the channel was asking me, a couple, doing good. a couple of people asked me on in the comments, how's Bo doing? Have you heard from Bo? Oh, I appreciate it, y'all. Yeah. I really do. I appreciate it. I appreciate Mr. Ray for uh, being there all them times, man. Yeah. Picking me up and stuff. Yeah. 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 Ye
Uh, well, I didn't know. I, I, I mean, I, I always wanted to believe that Bo could do better, and um, you know, and there, the last uh, four years or so, uh, you know, since I've been doing the YouTube videos about, that's when I started really realizing I'm really not helping Bo, and Bo's not going to change, right? Um, and so I had to accept Bo for what Bo is, was, is. And uh, that's basically what I did. Uh, now, uh, over the course of the last year that he's been in Florida, uh, whoo, I have really tried to, uh, and, you know, uh, give him words of encouragement and all every time I talk to him. And I talk to him uh, probably uh, at least once a week, uh, sometimes more than that. Uh, and he's always sending me pictures and stuff. And he watches the channel and he reads the comments. Uh, it'd be so cool if I could do a live with Bo. That would be so cool, wouldn't it? Would you? I mean, that would be really, really something. Uh, but, you know, over the course of the year that he's been gone, uh, he's he's tried to come back numerous times, uh, you know, and and I, t and I and I've told him every time he calls me, I'm like, dude, uh, because I've grown up too, you know, and I, I I don't really see whether I got labor or not. I'm not gonna uh, bring Bo back out here uh, and and put him in the back in, in the same scenario he that he's been battling and trying to get out of and just because i need help or whatever and it's not never nothing permanent both gonna i mean so he he's called me over the last you know year not recently uh as far as you know talking about wanting to come back uh back in <sighs> right but back before the summer he got upset with me because i because he told me he said, "You told me that if I went to rehab and everything, that I that, that you'd give me a job and I could come back when it, when the season started back in April." And I did tell him that, but I I, I told him a little white lie uh, because I felt like that would uh, help him do better and make him you know do better, and then eventually where he wouldn't want to come back because there's nothing to come back to. His mom's gone. Uh, he doesn't have any extended family. Uh, his kids, uh, he's out of touch with all of them. Uh, his grown daughter lives in California. So, you know, uh, Bo needed to re, you know, Bo needed to reevaluate and, 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 and coming back here, where's he going to live? You know, how's he going to get around? You know, and then all the same old people and, you know, so it's not going to be a, uh, yeah, it's not going to be a, a thing that he, that, that I, I didn't feel like he could do. Right. And, and me be a part of it. Now, if he got back here on his own, I can't stop a man, but I was not going to facilitate him coming back. Um, like I've done in the past. Um, the last time he came back, he wasn't in rehab. He was, uh, him and his cousin got in a fight. So he was staying with his cousin down in Florida. And, um, well, he got beat up pretty bad. And um, pretty much beat up and thrown in a ditch and, and, and had to walk a few miles to get to a stupid phone. And um, Sarah's, Aunt Sarah's son beat him up and another guy so he had to leave that situation and so he came back here but i knew that when he came back that he wasn't that it wasn't you know because he he wasn't in rehab down there then As a matter of fact he was worse off then than he than, than he's ever been uh real skittish uh, i think they were on that meth real bad uh So, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, but anyway, uh, good to hear from Bo. It's always a, a nice 
conversation with him. Uh, he's not asking for nothing. He's not begging me for nothing. He's not crying about nothing. He's just living his life, and I'm so proud of him, man. I really, really, really am. I really, you know, I really am. And that gives me hope, uh, well, for a lot more than just Bo. If you can see Bo come back from where he's been, what he's been through that I've witnessed firsthand, then anything's possible, y'all. I said anything, so. Yeah, now back to me.